we were lucky enough to be part of this huge worldwide mm. success 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 <laughs> Suc- good times i'm laura carmichael i'm alan leach and i'm michelle dockery and today we are reviewing some of maggie smith's very best lines your quarrel is with my daughter rosamond not me so put that in your pipe and smoke it but that's a classic it's Maggie a classic line. Maggie. It's like things that you read on the page that you wouldn't think would be that funny, but when she does it, yeah. it's hilarious. We'll yeah, it's check to make sure that the lines are also relevant to the time period. Mm-hmm. It's a zinger. It's a zinger. Every time. <laughs> Edith, dear, you're a woman with a brain and reasonable ability. <laughs> <laughs> Stop whining and find something to do. It's the way that she pauses as well when she has brain. And reasonable, like, without <laughs> yeah. pausing, like she's <laughs> trying to find a compliment in there somewhere. How did you not like crack up every time? I mean, I did. I think it's yeah. one when we're trying out the telephone where you can see me laughing. But they thought that Edith might find it funny, so it was okay. But um, yeah, it was really me <laughs> corpsing <laughs> <laughs> because they are quite serious a lot of the time mm. it takes the smallest facial movement to know that we've lost it you know? <laughs> so if there's a moment where i can see michelle in mary's face you know or yeah. or i find it's the intakes of breath especially yeah. the scene where you're like because you're just trying to stop yeah. and then the minute someone else hears that they're gone yeah true <laughs> yes oh she yeah. does actually she does. Yes. Yes. yes she's um, normally the one who makes us break yeah always yeah. Mm-hmm. Ask Edith, she might be free. Oh, I hope so. I'm a feeble substitute for the entire Crawley family. Mm. <laughs> yes, but you're better than nothing. <laughs> How warming you make that sound. Oh, oh they're God. brilliant. I mean, yes. obviously, they're, they're, they're peers. They've worked together, I think, a couple of times. Both mm-hmm. dames. I mean, it's a joy to watch those two battle mm. as well. It, it started like that, and then suddenly uh, Isabel Crawley started almost coming in to challenge her on purpose. But you can see how they are of each other as mm. well. They've become strange besties in the world of Downton. I think she gives as good as she gets. Yeah, she does. Totally. That's very kind, ladies. But you see, I don't approve of these costumes. I see them as the uniform of oppression, and I should be uncomfortable wearing them. Are you quite finished? I have. Good. <laughs> I mean, that was one great. of my first scenes with her where I had dialogue with her and I was genuinely terrified yeah, coming into that yeah. room. She did this really cheeky thing to me on one of our first days, so really early on in filming. And the scene was about to start, but the director said, do, do, could you just do a bit of ad-libbing at the top so it looks like we're joining you mid-conversation? And they went, action, and she said, pardon? <laughs> <laughs> so I had to be there with a line. And it, I mean, it was so naughty and really made us laugh. You remember what you can Now I think I just <laughs> froze <laughs> and then thankfully a footman she entered with a tray or something, you know. Certainly not. <laughs> oh, do you think I might have a drink? Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you were a waiter. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that one. Oh, it's so good. So the whole thing in that scene was that he had, he didn't have his tails on, wasn't he? Yeah, it was just it's in a the tux first jacket. time. Yeah, yeah. very funny. And because the fact that, that she does it to her son. Yeah. They weren't wearing tails, and yeah. she thought it was very wild. Uncouth. Uncouth, yeah. Yeah. I won't sleep a wink. Tonight or tomorrow? Sybil vulgarity is no substitute for wit. We well, started. <laughs> Oh, no. Sybil. Oh, so weird seeing Little that. Sybil. Isn't That's it amazing line. how young we all look? Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's worrying. And the hair, mm. it goes through many, many different many changes. changes. Another great Maggie line. Yeah. yeah. Great. I think there have been some yeah. moments where we give it back a little. I don't yeah. Know. But Sybil was the rebel, mm. you know, so I think that was very much her character that she would, you know, I she think would always give it back. We all laugh quite openly with and at Granny, you know, there's sort of moments, even in the film, mm. when we say, you just need to take off your hat to stay for dinner. And she says, you talk as if that were easy. And, you know, it's this, we all have a good laugh. Yeah. You know, we mm. all know what she's like, as you do with your own grandparents. You're like, yeah. oh, here she goes. Yeah. Um, so I think they're all a bit like that with Violet. But he doesn't drive. <laughs> so I told so her funny. I could do it. Oh, what? I said I could drive the tractor. Edith, 
You are a lady, not Toad of Toad Hall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing it. In Wind in the Willows, the character Toad, who is a sort of over-the-top frog toad. Yeah. <laughs> um, toad. <laughs> um, he has a Toad of Toad Hall. He's a sort of posh toad who, at one point in the books, takes up driving. driving. And drives and, very erratic. And is very erratic and goes poop poop and crashes the car a lot. So, um, <laughs> that's, it's a, that's what she was accusing Edith of being. It's just that look as well that Maggie gives as a mm. Deirdre Countess. It's so yeah. withering. You are quite wonderful the way you see room for improvement wherever you look. I never knew such reforming zeal. I take that as a compliment. I must have said it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Mary doesn't really yeah. laugh yeah. and smile all that much, especially in those days. Although it's... that day was hilarious. Do you remember it that day? It was very funny, the flower show. <laughs> there was all of these uh, things being judged, sort of flowers and what was the biggest vegetable and things. And there was some jam. Eclairs. Oh. oh, yes. That got all sweaty. And I said, isn't it funny how they get all shiny? And, Penelope said, yes, darling, it's because they're nervous. They know they're being judged. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of silly things that day. We were very mean to each other in that I said something yeah. to you like... About my hat. About uh, <laughs> something about those shoes and that hat or something yeah. that dress and that hat. I mean, we were vicious to each other in that first series. Yeah. Vicious. There's no logic in it. Oh, no, but if I were to search for logic, I should not look for it among the English upper class. <laughs> but back then, I think we did a lot more of the kind of crossing the room and mm -hmm. having conversations with more people. Yeah, yeah. And um, I mean, I hadn't really been upstairs that long, so I was still kind of getting my bearings. And, mm. and in any of these scenes, I was still obviously just delighted to be still yeah. in the show yeah. with these guys. <laughs> I like it when she does those lines, though, where she finds it yeah. funny. Yeah. <laughs> and she <laughs> makes herself laugh. <laughs> Thing. I mean, Edith isn't getting any younger. I mean, <laughs> perhaps she isn't cut out for domestic life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's funny. Your hair looked great in that one. I think that's Marcel, a Marcel Julio, Wave who, expert. Our hairdresser from Argentina, who spoke hardly any English, but he did a door fantastic. Uh, Marcel, Marcel wave. wave. And they saw always say, you know, Julio, it's time. He's like, yes, I know. You say yes, no. I know. Yes, I, I know. But then he would just continue. He wouldn't care. Like, <laughs> yes, I know. That was very funny. I love doing that because the relationship with Edith and Violet, you know, she sort of pulled her through a lot of that time when she was a bit depressed. But even when she was being encouraging, it still came out like an insult. That niggle that the dowager does is mm. often to try and push someone exactly, on to, yeah. to try something. Yeah. Rather, so it's almost encouragement, but in a very backhanded way. Mm. Yeah. Granny, what do you think? Oh, it is you. I thought it was a man wearing your clothes. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because the year before, I cut my own hair into a bob, hoping that Julian would just let me have my own hair and, yeah. you know, Mary have a bob. And he said, oh, no, no, it's too soon. So then I had to have a wig to make it look longer. And then eventually I grew my hair and then he said, now we're ready for the bob. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, um, and I love it that in the film, it kind of follows suit, so everybody's getting bobs, you know. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm.